Hi, this is Nettie. Uh, I come from the beautiful island of Puerto Rico. I want to show you something that struck me very funny. For years, I've heard that you, to to plant a avocado tree, you have to put it in water. Well, surprise, surprise! If you see this, is a avocado. Uh, it, this is my compost. And for some reason, it started growing there. I forgot. I put the avocado that well, got rotten. I put it in there, but I did. I forgot to take out the seeds. Well, I didn't think it was gonna grow, but I thought it was gonna turn into compost itself. But it didn't happen. So now I have a few um, avocados. I'm staying with three of them. You know, one of them I'm gonna put in a big planter and. Use it as a landscape in front of the house. I think it would look beautiful, seeing avocados and a, you know as a small tree. So I I see how that goes, and I would make some updates on it. But uh, my compost is really it was all the way up to the top. Now it's shrunk down. That means that the compost is composing. But we have had a lot of water. You know it's been raining here in Puerto Rico a lot. So I don't know if I feel like throwing it in the dirt and just let it dry with the sun but let's see what happens right here I have another one another compost that I'm making so while that one is doing this one is also composing and the thing is that this part of doing it this way you know in buckets and top of a raised bed uh, is easier for me why because I'm disabled as you can see, my uh, I can show you part of my wheelchair. Here it goes. So um, I'm disabled, and how you call it? I could do the compost this way. You know, I put them in bags. I did the first one I did. I did it in a bag. You know, in one of those bags, uh, dog food bags, and it came out great. You know, nice, beautiful dirt. As you can see, I have another avocado here that I am also putting to grow so I have one in water which I think it, it took longer to grow than this avocado if you, if you could see you see how it is it has like three plants in there or something so you know it's growing pretty good but I'm gonna take it out I'm gonna see who I give it to because I cannot have too many of them <laughs> but either way um, if you want to see more, I have this big um, raised bed, which I haven't yet done much with it, but it's just that, um, well, I need to, to see what happens with the rain. So let's go over here a little bit, and you could see right here, that's a plant of oregano. It, this oregano is not the small type, it's the big, they call it... I don't know how they call it in English. They, uh, but translating oregano brujo in Spanish, it will be oregano, witch oregano. Like a witch. Woo, you know. Okay, so let's go over here. And here we have a citrus that's um, tangerines. We got more oregano. I love these because one leaf is so big, you know. And if you're going to do, you know, like for cooking and stuff, you don't have to grab those little ones. Okay, I'm very happy because today when I came out, I saw that my, uh-oh, <laughs> my plants are growing beautiful. Here I got a flower. This is, ah, I forgot the name. I'll tell you later on. And here we got other plants, peppers, sweet peppers, I think is what they call it in English. And back there I got, um beans pink beans I have um, cilantro and I had basil somewhere oops I think I passed it anyway no I think that I have that in front of my house I have basil and I got those over there is um how you call it peppers green peppers so I hope it grows because for some reason I'm not having too much luck with it. But this one is beautiful. I don't know what they call this one. If it's sweet peppers or 
but Puerto Ricans like to use a lot of these. They do a mixture of this with oregano, um, cilantro, basil. It's a whole mixture of onions, garlic, whatever. You beat all that up and you make what the Puerto Ricans call sofrito, which is delicious. I like to make my own. Yeah, you could buy it in the store, but it don't really have much taste. So that's why mainly I'm growing them, so I don't have to buy them, and I could just use them here. I had this whole site over here full, but the too much rain has killed them mostly off. And I want to show you my beautiful flower. There it goes. <laughs> so this one is very beautiful, and I planted some, how you call it, lemon, lemon, watermelons. And I also planted uh, cantaloupes. So they haven't grown yet because they buried still. But pretty soon I'll be having it. Because you see, this is having seeding. Is seeding. So that's good news. This pepper was about to die and now it's starting to throw leaves again. So, you know, it's too much water. If you see on the floor, you see a lot of uh, cilantro growing. But I don't know if it's going to grow because it's really raining a lot almost every day so if you also want to see something here <laughs> which I think is kind of cute I have a plant of how you call it green beans but right next to it I have um, bananas there's lots of bananas they're not really mine they're really my aunts but um, you know, when she picks them, she gives me some, so it's like having my own um, banana also. Well, this is all for today. Uh, I'll be doing some more videos. Uh, my dream is to make two types of videos, in English and in Spanish. And, well, I hope I could do it. And I don't be too afraid. Right now, I'm a little nervous. That's why I'm forgetting t what I was going to say and whatever. But I hope we could be friends and that... We could share, and if there's more disabled people doing things, you know, um, anything, what they're doing, I would like to hear from them because I think that the disabled need to, you know, to express themselves out there. We do so many things. We, uh, as a disabled person, I got married. I have, I have, well, I am married. I have two gorgeous kids, a boy and a girl. Plus, I have a granddaughter. She is a doll. So, you know, we do many things. And I want the people out there, the world to know that just because you're disabled don't mean you can't do nothing. Come on, you know, we could do so many things. And I am going to show you also in another video, I'm going to show you what I have planned in my balcony. But that will be another video. So it's so nice and I hope that we could all be friends and we could join. And if Ray ever here sees this video, I want to say hi. I have learned so much with him. And that uh, he has a friend of me from Puerto Rico, Nettie. Bye.